Hey everybody, hope everybody's having a great day. Here I got the final on the uh, Triumph. So a lot of people were telling me this was a Hubley kit, so that's pretty cool. I actually got to build one of those this year. It was quite a basic molded kit with very little amount of parts but it ended up turning out quite well very happy with the way it turned out I believe this one was molded in 95 and the decals and everything like that went on great I had no cracking issues I think I had two but they were probably my fault I had two number ones crack and on the decal sheet they had all the numbers separate so they had any number that you can combine they had zero through nine so you could create anything with any number as long as I only had one of the numbers so that was a pretty cool sheet this one is pretty much exactly the same as the box art I didn't mean to do that that way but end up turning out so so it looks pretty cool really like the way it turned out the grill headlights and everything is actually clear coated over I did bare metal foil and a lot of it bare metal foil trim on the back bare metal foil on the fenders and uh, the windshield I was going to do bare metal foil but it did not turn out very well uh, and then I did some brush paint on uh, bare metal handles too this is a model master uh, aluminum I believe some of those were aluminum I know my dad's MGB is aluminum I don't know if all the triumphs is a aluminum uh, the headlights let me get it stopped here and zoom in on some of the details here so the headlights I tried something new I took a white acrylic Just a folk art white acrylic. Blended it down with some water, but not runny like a wash. Put it on there, let it set up for just a little bit, and took my finger and washed or wiped across the grain so there's still some wet in there. It actually gives it a nice headlight look. It separates the housing and the bulb and makes it look separate. So I think that's going to be my. My method from here on out with that um, I got the decals I should have sanded that off but it turned out all right I did the grill I did a acrylic wash on the back I think it was an ink and future wash that's why it's so much darker because it's opened up I used that thicker wash the ink and then I used um, testers turn signal yellow there and I glued those in before I cleared it same with these and I clear coated over everything except for these bumpers and the clear I use is that uh, extreme wet look extreme lacquer wet look it does not dull the the chrome at all I know there's a lot of clears that will dull that and make it look like the windshield but it, it did a really nice job it always does a nice job on the decals as well now if we go to the side I used a wire dipped it in ink, um, the same paint as this and dotted all the the rivets for the uh, actual cover the tonneau cover and it turned out nice like I said the decals went on perfect I did them the exact same way as the box art and then the, the tires they do get the knockoffs on them one of them did end up breaking but that's how it goes now for the rear these I did the the turn signal red glued them in cleared over same with these this I actually had a paint with the this 
silver and then I cleared over them so everything's cleared over that way it's nice and protected for the long term got another triumph sticker there bare metal over the hinges give them a high chrome look and then here's the other side there's the one knockout that actually cracked I think when I was cutting it off the tree should have a little bit been a little bit more careful now this one does roll super good now the axles that they put in a kit was off of the chrome tree I did not like that one bit so I end up using baling wire it's um, flexible enough that you can use it for that and uh, it's hard enough where it makes a good axle so you can actually bend the wheels to make them sit flat like this one is sitting perfectly flat I was able to get the wheels into a perfect camber and all that now before I was telling everybody I was going to do silver gauges well I forgot that the decal sheet actually had gauges in this one so I actually got nice decals on them there's even a nice decal on the steering wheel went with the wood steering wheel and one thing I did forget to do is the shift ball but it could be all silver on that one don't really matter inside you can see I did do a dry brush of a gray I also did it on that as well so on this kit this piece here you can actually take off quite easily and they do give you a hood top a root a soft top so you can actually clip that in and clip that in I'm not going to do it now because my luck I end up breaking it but I did make it so both was in there I did put the back window in so that way you know everything actually goes with that kit you know when I first opened up this box I thought well it's not going to be that great of a kit I mean it only had like two trees in it very small ones at that but as I got going it was it was very well done you take a little bit of time and effort sanding off some of the the rough lines because this trim piece was probably really hard from the mold so it actually had a cut down in it and everything so I sanded a lot of it off to try to get everything fixed these back panels here I don't know if you can see it's pretty smooth I didn't buff this one out and I figured it's an older car it should have a little bit of a rougher look it shouldn't be a showroom shine but you can see in that back panel it's pretty smooth it's not too bad let's see if I can get a glare on that let's see how smooth it is with that light reflection there is a huge dimple right in here on both sides probably from shrinkage from after it being molded I also trimmed in some of these lines as you can see here it's not perfect but these lines were almost gone I did a, a little bit of panel lining on all of the, the lines so even up here in the hood it's kind of washed out from the light but this line here actually panel lined it and then after primer I cut it again and wet sanded everything I did about three coats of red on this one but those panel lines turned out pretty nice the door panels and everything but even with a generic I wouldn't want to call it generic call it old even with an older kit like this where the molding technology was nothing like it is today I have a very great looking build afterwards I'm super happy with it I'm so happy I actually got the kit I don't think I spent a lot of money on it so I'm pretty happy with that and so since there ain't no drivers in these cars this is just a photo shoot 
a staged photo shoot especially they're they're off like close to be racing but they do look pretty darn cool together figured I'd share that it fits in quite well I mean this one's a super high detailed kit this one's pretty old, I, so I'm thinking them two are about the same age of kits. But it does fit in quite well. This one I made sure I took all the trim off. I did that intentionally, thinking that it's a race car. He's not going to have all that trim. This one I did leave it on. It's supposed to go all the way around, but uh, it didn't last, so... That's our little secret there. It does look pretty darn cool together, all of them. I'm quite happy with that kit, the way it turned out. So enough of rambling along. I hope you guys had a great, great week. Now I just saw something I needed to do. Some tail lights still. But hopefully you guys had a great week. And until next time, see you then. Bye.